Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Vanahan, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal, and I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago, but it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon, you can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Holden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a servant earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? Yes. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth. The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you? Into an animal. 
No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So... Maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own. You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Chair's Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Loa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandion. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions. For it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy. He maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad. That's just... Ruthless, barbaric, heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. And so... Reflect longer. I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagoth, the Great Void. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. 
though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. In the earth's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. He called himself All-Father, as if he was the creator, and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Amir? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think it best we just end it there, actually. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had God things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is it back? I don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Me. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of hoping though. So what now? Brother, up there! The winds of hell! The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to hell like get a cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there too? 
What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. Someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Aye. Thanks to Odin, with good reason. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of my own back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy, take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father, though. Oh,
Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. Quiet head. <clears throat> What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. A great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my yes, many, many. Good or bad? Not as simple as that, I'm afraid.
you and that ball that set you off? It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah! Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the wings. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. I thought those saws were scary. Look! It's the wolf giants! Skull and Hati! That's right! The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though.
Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. We can't leave here without the black room. Come on, we can do this.
He hunts them, skulls gold, and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. The middle! Left boy! The middle! Gotta get them in order. Moon left, sun right, with Midgard in the middle. Pull the right! Middle, quickly! Moon on the left, sun on the right. Midgard in the middle. The middle! Middle, quickly! Pull the right! Moon, Midgard, sun. Moon, Midgard, sun. Middle bar! Left! Get it! Well, oh, I can't drown. Guess that's something. No, stop it! Wait! What does it change for? Father! Above you! have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. Wait, I know what to do. Her knife? There's no other way! It's not working! The tip worked! Saved you. That was cunning, boy. The road's free. I think we did it. Aye. Let's go see what Tears got for us. Oh no! Ray's protection room. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going.
boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this. By the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Sandball back up.
Yurith. We're so close to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. Uh. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. <laughs> 